I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some halal fun together. Today I'm going to share with you something that might change your life, you know, forever. Uh, something is very sensitive, uh, extremely sensitive. It is have to do with sensitive uh, things in you. So I hope uh, you can handle it. There's a million articles and videos of how Prophet Muhammad, he could known this 1400 years ago. And I wanted to share with you that Muslims are right. Muhammad, he knows things nobody knows. There's tons of Islamic books as we know, but there is like, famous ones or big ones or whatever. This is a book, it's called Faydul Qadir, Fi Sharh Jami al Sagir, volume number two, page number four, four, six. It says here that the Prophet of Allah, he said, in hadith number 2027, as you see in the screen, that Satan, he come to you when you are praying, and he take a hair from your anus. And he straight the hair out, which means he's pulling it out. And this Satan will not stop until he hear it, the fart, and he smell it. So Satan here is targeting the anus of Muslims, and Muhammad is a Muslim. And Satan trying his best to disturb the Muslim prayer by taking hair from their anus. My question is, how Prophet Muhammad could know this if he is not feeling it? Obviously, Shaitan was taking hair from his anus. And the Prophet, because he is very sensitive, he is the only one who can feel it. He have a sensitive ass. You know, we need to remember he's a prophet, like not like us. So his ass is a blessed ass. It have a special sensor. In different hadith, and by the way, the Muslim, they will say to you, CP, CP. This hadith CP is reported by Susu from Dudu to Nunu, from Kuku to Kiki. And Kiki is known to be a liar. <clears throat> oh, 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 okay. So why it's in your book? <laughs> if it's a lie, why it's in your book? <laughs> <clears throat> in different hadith, Muhammad he said, uh, no, this one, and this one, I mean, all those hadiths is about Pupu, by the way. But here we have different one. In different hadith, Muhammad, he said, Allah Messenger, S-A-W, it's like a short waves thing, you know? Only Prophet, they have those things, S-A-W. Said, Satan come to ones of you in the Salat and blow air on his bum. What? Where? He blow air where? 
So he imagined that he had released air, yet he did not. So if he got a feeling he should not leave the prayer unless he hear it, he hear the sound, and he smell the fart. Now, <clears throat> I could not really understand what this hadith is saying, so I asked a scholar. Uh, this is a big doctor in, in Islamic uh, in religion. He's a very well-known doctor, you know. He studies the penis. At, uh, in, in his version of the hadith, which I cannot find in English, that shaitan, not only he blow, like shaitan, he take care, he speak about this one from your anus, and he pull it out, and he keep, he put like his foot in your ass, and he pull it out, and you know, uh, and he will not stop until you fart. And then he mentioned uh, that shaitan, he blow air too at your penis, and then something will come out from your penis. I wonder what is that? صوت لا شيطان بس حسيت يا اخي الكريم اسمع الكلام قال عليه الصلاه والسلام فلا ينصرف حتى يجد ريحا شيطان will not leave brother until he smell look he put his finger next to his nose until he smell your fart so now he's taking hair from your anus you know and he will not leave he will not leave he will keep taking hair one after one one after one until your majesty fart he cannot leave you alone. I mean, you are praying to Allah. Shaitan is upset. He target your anus. And then he will not leave until he, Shaitan, he smell it too. Oh, he smell something. Or he hear it. So either he smell it or he hear it. Look, he point his finger at his ears. You see? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shaitan. And he came to the hadith and said to him, and the hadith says there's a different hadith. Salatu salam yati shaitan ahadukum wa yunfukh fi dubara aw fi dhakar. I feel that it's a miracle. Shaitan brother, he come to one of you and he blow in your anus or your penis. That's deep. Wa yunfukh fi dubara aw fi dhakar. I feel that it's a miracle. Oh, I feel that I heard something. So he make you think that you have something came from your penis or something came from your anus. But did you see really? Did you? Look at this face. Look, look. I mean, I mean, look how serious the topic is. I mean, we have to be honest here. Who do have such a religion like this? This guy, he have a PhD in farting. He studied farting very well. Tell us more. وينفخ في دبرة أو في ذكر يحس. and he blew in your anus or in your penis. سنا نزل شيء. you feel like something coming out. والله حسني سمعت شيء لا. did you hear anything? did you smell anything? وجت رائحة لا شيطان. بس حسيت وجت. I felt. I did not hear it. I did not smell it really, but I felt. لا سمعت. did you find it? like did you find it, brother? did you hear it? You felt it only, but you did not hear it. You did not. لا خلاص شيطان ليش نتابع؟ So it's from شيطان obviously. As long you did not hear it yourself and you did not smell it yourself, it's شيطان. So my friends, stop resisting the truth. Obviously, Muhammad is a special person who have a special. He's a gifted. He he have a special sensor for anus, special sensor for penis. And you tell me who is the one who told him that. For sure, is true God, Allah. Because this is a topic nobody will dare to touch, especially it's about your penis. You know, you don't want anyone to go there. Or your anus, like, come on, you know. Only Allah's, he knows those secret areas. I saw a video of the Muslim speaking about the Quran knew the black hole. I'm not sure what hole they were talking about. Because the only hole I see your prophet keep talking about is your a-hole. I invite you all to convert to Islam before it's too late so you can enjoy shaitan playing with your anus, especially if you are, <clears throat> you know, you like it. So shaitan, he target only Muslim anus. Thank God I am not a Muslim. Shaitan, he target only Muslim penis.
Thank God I am not a Muslim. And now I know why I'm lucky. Thank you very much for being here. This is a very short video just to share with you how he knew if he is not a prophet. So it's time for you Christians, Hindus, Buddhas, atheists to repent. Only prophet of God who is connected to scientific science, they knew such a thing. Face it, face it, and stop your denial. It's time to admit. It's time to admit. Thank you. God bless you. And watch over your private part or target it. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 